All right, well, we got the uh, heat exchanger in. And that wasn't too bad. It was time consuming. And they maybe do some, kind of some weird things. That's where the relays go. And that, that's for the bumper right there, that wiring. And then they have you uh, wire it into, into the main power. And the eyelets they give you are too small. Uh, so I had to ream those out. And then trim a little bit of that lip of that lid off in order to clear the clear the wiring down there. So that came out pretty good. And then the actual fan wiring, uh, they wanted you to run it up here and zip tie it. I couldn't figure out where to zip tie it. And plus the fact I, I really didn't want it there. So I ran the wires for the fans down through here and I ran the fan wire underneath and zip tied it to the same bar that the coolant is uh, tied to, connected it all there, and then plumbed, um, then wired up the wire for the pump. So when the coolant pump comes on, the fans come on. Their instructions said a white wire. There was no white wire. There were two tan wires and a black one, and there's absolutely nothing online about which one to use. So. I went by the way the drawing was because the drawing looked like it was a tan wire as well. And just just orientation to the clip on the connector and it was a 50-50 chance. So we'll see if it works. If it doesn't uh, and the fans don't come on, I'll got a good idea where, where to start looking. So still waiting for the intercooler, of course. That's not coming in until Tuesday. So the car is gonna sit. Um, I do have the air box to put in and I have this to attach. It's just kind of loose right now because I want it out of the way when I do spark plugs. So I'm going to take it out. I'm contemplating just doing the spark plugs tomorrow, um, and just be done with it. The catch can would also need to go on and then, uh, it's ready to fill with, with, uh, coolant for the radiator. It's ready now, but I uh, went looking for a little spring. <laughs> there's a there's a little clip for the cooler lines. So they, they kind of like the two lines push in together and then you put this clip on it and, and it holds the, the coupler from coming apart. Well, in fact, I can show you some. That's them. So I was putting one of those on at the front of the car here underneath and it got away from me and it went ting, 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 ting and disappeared. And I said, well, I'll just go grab another one. So I grabbed one and finished what I was doing. And while I was working on the car, I kind of kept my eye out for it and I didn't see it. Well, I decided I was going to clean up and look for it. So I really cleaned up. I swept the garage, I swept under the car, I looked under the tires, I looked on the frame, I looked everywhere. At least I thought I did. And finally I got the flashlight after I swept under the car. And that little clip was all the way back here. Just under the bumper. That thing had sprung its way up and down the car all the way underneath. To the back of the car <laughs> so anyway those two clips over there are for these uh, this is this is where they go right there right in that notch so you put it just locks on here to keep you from pulling that off so all right, well, my day's done. Thanks for watching the channel. And, uh, man, I, this thing's almost ready to go. I'm getting excited. See you soon.